Fox News alert as Hamas terrorists target Israel. President Biden facing backlash after clearing the path to release $6 billion in frozen Iranian assets just weeks ago. But the administration pushing back, insisting the money had nothing to do with funding attacks on Israel, claiming, quote, these restricted funds cannot go to Iran. It can only be used for future humanitarian related purposes. Any suggestion to the contrary is false and misleading. John Ratcliffe served as director of national intelligence under President Trump. When I was there, he joins us now to react. You know, great to have you this morning. What a perfect guest. What is your reaction, John, when you hear Andrew Bates in the press shop say zero taxpayer dollars, no Iranian money spent yet, when spent Iranian money can only be used by private actors? My reaction, Kaylee, is um, as it has been from day one, those words ring hollow from the Biden administration. They're disingenuous um, at best. Look, it's, it's not even just this $6 billion, uh, which, which clearly is going to further enrich uh, Iran. It's closer to $60 billion. If you look at what, what the Biden administration has done to help this Islamic uh, uh, terrorist regime in Iran, by uh, stop enforcing sanctions, by lifting restrictions, by allowing Iranian oil to uh, increase by 650% over the last two years, from 400,000 uh, barrels of oil a day to 3 uh, million barrels of oil a day. All of this has uh, strengthened an Iranian regime that you know, Kaylee, we left um, weaker and poorer than it had been in the last 20 years, and instead, They've largely been funded by uh, the Biden administration's actions and allowing them to uh, strengthen their position and to create this kind of mayhem. I don't think it's unfair, Kaylee, to say that, you know, uh, Iran funded Hamas here, but the Biden administration helped fund uh, Iran. But there's no doubt about it. I mean, when you and I were in the administration, September of 2020, we all sat on the south lawn of the White House and we watched... Bahrain and UAE normalized relations with Israel. First time we'd had any peace accord like that since 1996. It was a day of celebration. Are you surprised? Fast forward, that was September of 2020. We're September of 2023. You have war in Israel. Is this a change in leadership? I mean, it seems pretty clear. Well, well I'm not surprised because of the actions that I just outlined. The, the real problem here, uh, Kaylee, is not just folks like you and me, but everyone around the world now perceives the real problem, which is that there is daylight between the U.S. and Israel as allies, that the relationship has changed in the last two years because of the actions that I just outlined, where, you know, the Biden administration wouldn't even meet with the Israeli prime minister, but at the same time, they were courting and at times begging um, this uh, Iranian regime uh, to do everything from restarting nuclear talks to engaging in uh, these kind of, you know, ultimately ransom payments. And, you know, and ultimately everyone sees that in the Middle East. And that is, is really what has, is uh, playing out here before us right now. Iran wanted a lethal injection into the normalization and the extension of the Abraham Accords and the possible uh, normalization of uh, relations between Israel and Saudi Arabia. And they have accomplished it. So if you were president right now, if we were still in the administration, what would you do today in reaction to what we saw play out yesterday at 6.30 a.m.? Yeah, unfortunately, what I would do is not what's going to happen here, which is that Israel and Saudi Arabia are not going to get the kind of assurances and guarantees that they need to make sure that Iran doesn't get what they want, to make sure that the normalization of those relations and the further building of uh, Arab partners for Israel occurs. And the U.S., with strong leadership, can do that. Obviously, you just outlined, Kaylee, we saw it work. It could continue to work. Um, but it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen in the next year and a half in, in this administration because no one believes the authenticity of the Biden administration when it comes to saying we stand with Israel. They haven't stood with Israel for two and a half years. They've stood closer to Iran than they have to Israel. And that's why we have uh, mayhem and war in the Middle East. Yeah, gone, uh, are, gone are the days of peace through strength. Uh, John Radcliffe, thank you very much. You bet. Great to see you, Kaylee. Good to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.